know, I feel like I'm finally back where, you know, where I feel like I should be and hopefully I can, I can, I can prove to everyone that I deserve to be here. Lawrence, you are now uh, here at Burnley. How does it feel? Yeah, no, it's amazing. Um, it's amazing to be here. Uh, it's an unbelievable training ground to be a part of. Met a few of the lads already and they all seem really good. So, you know, I'm really happy to be here. You're a, a strong staple at Leighton Orient for the last three seasons. Their player of the, of the year for all three seasons as well. How difficult was it to, to walk away from there? Yeah, I mean, it was tough, but you know, when you, when you hear interest from, from clubs like Burnley, and I think it makes it very, very easy to leave. You know, um, you, know you have to, only have to look around, you know, where we're going to be tra working, training every day that, you know, um, as much as I really enjoyed playing for Leighton Orient, this for me, I felt it was the right step and the right way to go. And you know, hopefully I can leave an impression here. I know you touched on it there. Is there anything specific here that particularly excited you maybe when you found out? Yeah, I mean, um, you know, the style of play from last season, you know, I watched a lot of the games and, you know, you could see that, you know, they had a real, really progressive style of football that, that I want to be a part of. And, you know, I want to work and I still want to improve. I'm still young in terms of like, as a goalkeeper and I still feel I can, I can get much better. So, you know, after watching, you know, a lot of the games last season, I feel like I can, you know, can work really hard here every day and you know hopefully get a chance to, to show my capabilities. So what are your ambitions here for you personally? Um, yeah just to work hard every day and, and you know be as good as I can for the boys every day and you know just to be as be an important part of the of the changing room and you know going forwards and you know improve myself as a person as well because I think that that's um, very very important things for me. Vincent speaks very highly of you in the chat that I had with him before. Have you had a chance to have a, a chat with, with him or any of the other coaching staff? Yeah, yeah. So I, I just spoke to him when I came in and, you know, he's, you know, he's an, a remarkable man in what he's achieved in his career and especially in, as manager here last year as well. So, you know, um, you know I just got to work, every, work hard every day and, you know, try and leave an impression on him on the training pitch and see where that takes me. As you know, I, I was speaking to a couple of your, your former coaches and managers from, from a long time back, I think when you were on loan out from Tottenham Hotspur at, at Hyde. How much do you think you've progressed in the decade or so that, that you have been a goalkeeper? Yeah, no, a lot. You know, um, I was still a boy then, you know, a uh, really young lad. But, you know, they, they were really good for me in terms of, you know, uh, when I was there, it was, it was uh, the Conference Premier League, National League, um, what it's called now. And it was, you know, they were struggling. And, you know, it was really good to be a part of a change room like that because it, it showed me the other side of football where, you know, it's not all rosy, not all green, you know, and it showed me that, you know, you have to be a man um, even, when you were so, even when I was so young. So it was a really good experience and, you know, I, I really enjoyed it. So that was when you were at Hyde. You, you started through the academy, you went through Spurs and then you signed for Liverpool as well. Um, Swindon Town, you had a good time there and that's where, you know, Scott Twine from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm really, I can't wait to meet him, to be fair. Uh, really nice kid uh, and I loved playing with him and training with him he was he was one of the best at the club at the time and now he's gone on to to be a really really top player so I'm really proud of him you've not spoken to him at all have not, you not? not just yet I've spoken to him like on the phone and that yeah. but like did not, he um, give you a bit of inside gen and what it's like yeah here? no he did say he said it's a really good changing room and you know that for me is the most important thing because that's where you spend um, the majority of every day so you're with the lads so that's that's really important and he said it was a really good one so I'm really happy to be a part of it before I ask you about how you would describe yourself as a player, in terms of personality, whenever I speak to anybody who's either played with you or who's managed you or who's signed you now, they always say about your personality. What, how would you describe yourself? Um, I just try and you know, have fun, but you know, when it's time to work, I want to work hard, but you, know, you have to have a balance. You, know, you can't always be serious and you can't always be the joker. So um, I try to have that in, in how I live my life and, and then, yeah. It seems to have worked so far and it's got me to Burnley, so I might as well keep doing it. And as a player? Um, as a player, um, you know, I pride myself on, on distribution. It's something that's really important for me. Um, I try to be, um, play really high, uh, be a sweeper. And, and those are things that, you know, in the modern game, you know, they're really important. So that's what I try to, to model myself on. And ready for the competition that you've got here as well for, for any of the places, I suppose. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Well, you know, when you go to a top club, you know, there's going to be very, very good you know, players in all positions and is, you know, up to me just to prove how, how good I am and how, how hard I can work to, to try and work my way into the team. And just finally, if you don't know already, I'm sure you, you still will in terms of the, the fans and the passion and, and the atmosphere that not just at Turf Moor, but wherever the Burnley fans are as well. Do you know much about them? Are you ready for them? Um, yeah, it will be, it'll be a lot different to when I was in, in League Two, League One. So, um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. I think um, the fans, you know, they're, they're really loud. They're, 
they, they travel in numbers and that's all you want as a, as a player to, sit, to look back and see you know a really packed away end and or when you're when we're playing at home to see the stadium full and everyone's singing so we just got to make sure we we deliver on the pitch and I'm sure they'll help us on, on the sides and I know I said finally but finally finally the Premier League badge will be everywhere as now you're, you're a top fight top flight player at a top flight club again what does that mean yeah no it means everything it's taken me a long time to to get back here I've come full circle and I've had a lot of experiences in my life and my career as well that I can draw on and you know I feel like I'm finally back where you know where I feel like I should be and hopefully I can I can prove to everyone that I deserve to be here come on well done and good luck thank you very much